Asia here and welcome. Today I want to do an experiment. I want to do four Dutch pours with different mediums and just, just to see side by side what the differences are. I'm going to use paint and water. I'm going to use paint flow, and flow troll and water, paint, PVA glue and water, and then a mixture of paint, flow troll and PVA and water. And just to see how it reacts and what, what the different mediums do um, and see which one we, we like the best. So let's go mix them up. So I've mixed all, mixed all my paints and that took absolutely ages. So I've got PBO iridescent copper and pearl turquoise by Arteza and they're all the same colours. Uh, so we have the ones mixed with water, the ones mixed with flow troll, the ones with, with uh, glue, PVA glue and then a mixture of PVA glue and Floetrol and they all have water to consistency. So the paint and water has one part paint, one part water, so 50-50 and all the rest have one part paint to two and, two and a half to three parts medium, that's including the water. Okay, so let me just show you the consistency of them all and they all just run off the stick and just leave a slight mound and disappear straight away. A very light, just a tiny, tiny mound. So I'll, I'll show you. You can see this, the consistency. It just pours into the cup, leaves, leaves a tiny pyramid mound and then disappears straight away into the cup. Uh, the paint and water is probably a little bit thinner, but then so are the, the um, design colour paints. They're, they're always a little bit thinner, um, which is more like a traditional Dutch pour where it's quite thin paint. Okay, and if I didn't mention it before, the base paints are all mixed the same. The water is mixed just with water, the flow troll just with flow troll and water, the, the glue mix is with just glue and water, and the flow troll and the glue mix with water also. Okay, I'm going to start with just the paint and water. On my base. So this is an experiment I've been wanting to do for a while, so I'm going to see the differences. Because what I'm using currently is uh, paint, one part glue um, and one part flow troll and then water to consistency. Start off with the turquoise. And the copper. The turquoise again. And a little bit of the white. Touch more copper. And then I'm going to go around with some white. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Color palette, but I think it's going to be effective. Let's blow the color the, the white over.
Oh, I love these colours together. Give it a torch and then I'll put that away on this side. Hmm. Okay. Next one, let's do the flow troll. Just water, paint and flow troll and water. Start with the turquoise. This is the flow troll. Give it a minute. Developing. And put that one over there. That one is the glue and flow troll. No, we're going to do the glue. We'll just do paint and glue and water next. Okay, starting again with the turquoise. Turquoise 
some of the white. And then some copper again. Just go around with some base paint. Let's just check in. Yeah, here's the glue, glue and water. Just surprised that it's had so much reaction. Mm. So I'm going to put that over there. And then lastly, we're going to do a mix equal amounts of glue and water, glue medium and flow troll medium with the water. Paint around the Show you. They all did that to start with, with um, a little bit of lacing. flow troll and glue. Okay. Give them a few minutes and then I'll come back and show you them closer. So starting off with just the paint and water and it has some lovely lovely details and what I've noticed is the colours stay really really vibrant. Um, I'm hoping I'll get enough time to show you the dry results but this is look at the lacing there. Paint and water definitely 10 out of 10 for me. The only 
downside is that you use more paint because it's 50-50, one part paint, one part water. So you end up using more paint, but absolutely lovely. And then number two was Floetrol. And this is the British Floetrol called Our Troll. And this is really, really pretty as well. Got some nice lacing, some cells, and the, the colours are all oh, very vibrant. And with with, with the Our Troll, it's not too expensive, but then again, it's more expensive than the glue and water. But that is really, really stunning. I love that, and I love these colours together. But look at the beautiful, beautiful effects on this one. Okay, number three was the glue and water. And this is my least favourite, although it it did the most, it, made, it had the most effects to start with, but then the effects kind of melted away and it's not as vibrant as the other two. I mean, it's still vibrant, but just very slightly less. Just got a different look about it. Still got some lacing and a few, just a couple of cells. Maybe it's the way I blew it out, but I mean, it's still a nice effects. And obviously the blue and water will be the most inexpensive. But that's really pretty as well. And then the last one is the the mix of flow troll and glue in equal parts and water. And again, this is my favourite one because this is what I use now. And I think it's perfect because it's economical. It keeps the colours vibrant. It's easy to mix. And I love it. It's got some lovely lacing, some beautiful cells, and it's just really pretty. And the, the colours are vibrant. Lovely, lovely effects on this one. So I have to say, my two favourites are paint and water. And this, this is the paint and water one. And the flow troll and glue mix. Those are my two favourites. And then this one is the flow troll. Again, very nice. And this one is the glue mix, which I think is a little bit more sloppy, in my opinion. I don't know if I added too much paint on here, but I don't think so, because it's not moving. Okay, so I hope, hope you found this video helpful, if you did. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share it with whoever might be interested in this, this video. I've been wanting, wanting to do this one for a while. And uh, you might be seeing the dry results or you might not. Here's the first one with paint and water. As you can see, some lovely light lacing and cells. And it's dried perfectly. A lovely shimmer. Still a little bit wet in the middle. That's almost dry. It's dried lovely and smooth and flat. So it's the paint and water one. So this one is the Flow Troll and Glue Mix and it's absolutely gorgeous. Got some lovely lacing, some pretty cells and it's almost dry. It's a nice shimmer. Still a little bit wet in the middle. Um, so and it's dried beautifully flat. So let me know which one's your favourite when I've gone through them all. I think this one's my favourite. Really pretty. Pretty effects, nice edging. This one is the Oa Troll, Blow Troll. And it's very pretty also. Some nice lacing, a few little cells, dried beautifully flat. And there's a nice shimmer. All of them are quite vibrant. And considering I only use two colours, they're quite shimmery and vibrant. The glue and water has surprised me a little bit. It's kind of spread out, it has got some different effects, and still vibrant, still dries nice and flat. 
just different effects. Um, it's my least favourite. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. Which one do you use? Are you going to change your medium? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.